Dutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Elephant Snappers. Golly, Clutch, it's great to be coming home. I'm going into the first drugstore we see, and I'll order an ice cream soda that high. Sounds good, Spinner. And we'll get Paddlefoot a great big bowl so he'll know he's home. Capital City calling Clutch Cargo in aircraft NO to you. Capital City from Clutch Cargo, go ahead. Urgent message, come at once. Hotel Grand Plaza, Capital City. Most urgent. Signed, Rampour. Message received, over and out. That's a message from one of my best friends, the Rampour of Monsoon Isle. He won't save my life in the jungle. Sounds like he's in bad trouble. We'll soon find out. We're coming into Capital City Airport now. <laughs> Clutch and company lose no time in getting to a taxi. Hotel Grand Plaza and hurry. This is an emergency. But their departure has been observed. Hello, boss. Clutch Cargo got that message to Ram Dorset. He's on his way to the hotel now. I'll take care of him. He's going to be sorry that he got mixed up with this. And so before I left the Ram Poor, I made him promise that if ever he needed help, he'd send for me. Here's the hotel now. We'll know the trouble in a few minutes. Once inside the hotel, they find the place a beehive of activity. Looks like a national holiday in here. I just heard someone mention the Rob's War. This is terrible about the poor Rob's War. Terrible. I understand they didn't find out until this morning. This sounds serious. Come on, Spinner. Clutch finds the number of the Royal Suite, and they head for the 30th floor. Here's the Royal Suite, Clutch. Straight ahead. I hope we're not too late to help. May I help you? Clutch Cargo. Oh, thank goodness you've come. The Rampur... Is, is he all right? The Rampur is in bed but he'll want to see you right away. Follow me. They go through several large rooms until they reach the royal bedroom. Oh, I wish my old friend Clutch Cargo would come. He'd know what to do. Your wish has come true, Rampur. Mr. Cargo is here. Tanya's right. I'm here. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, Clutch. A terrible thing has happened. A very dear member of my royal household has vanished right under our very noses. This morning when the servants went into her room to serve her breakfast, Daphne was gone. Not a trace of her anywhere. Daphne? Who is Daphne, Rampur? Daphne is my rare snow white elephant clutch. A elephant? <laughs> Yes, that's her picture by my bed. Pure white and worth a king's ransom. Elephant napping right here in the heart of the city? What? It's a message wrapped around a stone. Stay out of this clutch cargo if you value your life. Oh, clutch! I'm scared! Will that note of warning stop Clutch and Company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Elephant Snappers. Last time, Clutch and Company came to help the Rampur of Monsoon Isle, whose rare white elephant, Daphne, had disappeared. Suddenly, through the window, came a stone. Clutch! I'm scared! A rock thrown through a window, and we're on the 30th floor. Doesn't make sense. Do you think it came from an airplane? I don't think so. But I think I know where it did come from. Come on, Spinner and Paddlefoot, we've got work to do. <laughs> We'll be back in a little while, Rampur. Thank you, Clutch. Please hurry. Oh, my poor Daphne. Clutch and company hurry to the street floor of the Rampur's hotel, and then to the roof of an office building across the street. And there they find what Clutch was looking for. What is it, Clutch? It's an ancient catapult that works by a strong spring. 
You pull it back, put the stone on the sling, and then let it go. And we're dealing with a master criminal spinner. There are the windows of the Rampour's bedroom across the street. This contraption could easily heave a rock through the window. We'll turn it over to the police. Golly, Clutch. Why would anybody steal an elephant? Probably for a big ransom. You mean money? Yes, Spinner. Whoever stole that, he knows the Rampour is wealthy and will want his rare elephant returned. Let's get back to it. <laughs> It'll cost him a very big ransom. I'll pay any amount to get her. <laughs> oh, my poor Daphne. I know how lonesome she must be. Yes, elephants do get lonesome. Where is Daphne's room, Mr. Rampour? Tanya will show you, but I can't bear to even look at her little bed. I understand, Rampour. Daphne's bedroom is a grand ballroom, the largest room in the hotel. I'll take you there. Wow! Look at the size of this place. It's as big as an airplane hangar. Doesn't seem to be a clue anywhere. Did anyone question the night clerk? Yes, Mr. Cargo. And no one saw Daphne walk through the lobby. The only other way would be through these big doors. <laughs> Look, Clutch. Paddlefoot's acting so funny. You're right, Spinner. I believe he's got the scent. <laughs> Go get him, boy. Meanwhile, strange things are happening in another part of the city. There's my apartment building, Bugsby. Pull over. Take the elephant out of the truck and up to my apartment. I got the straps all hooked tight. All set, Mr. Van Hoeksberry? Certainly, Bugsby. Hoist that elephant up and make it snappy. Faster, Bugsby. We haven't all day. Toughest job I ever had. I sure hope this rope don't break, boss. Let us not dilly-dally over trifles, my dear fellow. Pull! The rope that's pulling Jaffeen up is starting to break. Hurry, Bugsby. That rope can't last forever. Look <laughs> out, Mr. Van Hook. The race is falling. Oh, poor Daphne. Is this the end of her? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Elephant Nappers. Last time, Clutch and company learned that Daphne, a snow-white elephant belonging to the Rampur of Monsoon Isle, had been stolen. The criminals were hoisting her up to their apartment when... Look out, Mr. Van Hook! She's falling! Hey, horse afresh! What a critter, boss! Looky! He's hanging by a trunk on that ledge! That's what I call real elephant. Hurry, Bugsby. Use the elevator and hook that cable back on her harness. While Bugsby ties the cable to the straps on Daphne, Van Hooks stands guard. Soon the cable is tied, and Daphne is again on her way skyward. Hurry, Bugsby. Do something quick. Here comes the law. You'll have to stop blowing that horn. Uh... What's going on here? Evening, officer. Just hoisting my new grand piano up to my apartment. Couldn't get it through the door. Eh, uh, don't wonder. Look at the size of it. First time I ever saw a piano with four legs. Well, anyway, be careful. Meanwhile, Paddlefoot leads Clutch and the rest of the search party to a dignified old building. Oh, no. A sportsman's hunting club. Look at Paddlefoot. He thinks he's found Daphne, but they're stuffed. I'm sorry, Ramper. Still no lead. Clutch. Peanuts. How about peanuts? She's got to eat. No, Spinner. She's a peanut hater. They give her indigestion. She only eats the finest of continental cooking. Good. If she's that particular and doesn't get what she wants, maybe she'll kick up a fuss and help us find her. We'll put everyone on the alert. In the luxurious penthouse of Van Hooksbury, 
master criminal of upper crust underworld society, for Daphne, this is the last peanut. <laughs> Shake there, Bugsby. Do something. In the city's scientific laboratory, where all earthquakes are recorded, things are jumping on the seismograph. Oh, earthquake. I've never seen anything like it. Another one in the South Pacific? Galloping shock base? No. It's practically next door. The news of the big quake startles the whole city. That's no earthquake. Unless I miss my guess, it's Daphne. We've surrounded the area like you asked, Mr. Cargo. Are you sure this is the right spot? The seismograph pinpointed the shock waves right on this building. All right, we'll go in and look. Wow, boss, we're trapped. Here it come. Easy, Bugsby. Don't you know I always anticipate these little emergencies? Made an elephant disappear once. Poof. I'll do it again. See? Boss, an army whirly blade? We're not stealing it, my fellow. We're just following it. It's like fingered many at the controls. Most dependable. This is the apartment, all right. Open up in there. Think it'll hold, Mr. Van Hoek's belly? Push, Buxby. I'll do the thinking. All right, men. Break it in. Will they get through in time to save Daffy? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Fudge Cargo. Chicago with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Elephant Nappers. Last time, Clutch and company, while looking for Daphne the elephant, heard of an earthquake in the heart of the city. They rushed to the building in hopes of finding her. Oh, elephant here! Something's crazy. You think they threw the coop, Clutch? Maybe you've got something there, Spinner. Maybe they did. Meanwhile, Van Hoeksbury's Operation Elephant Lift is well underway. Shoot an ambulance to the seismograph laboratory right away. One of our boys is cracking up. I did see it. I did, I did. An elephant flying a helicopter. Clutch receives the police report about an elephant flying a helicopter. And soon is in hot pursuit. After an hour in the air, the elephant nappers are nearing their destination. We're landing here, boss? Certainly, Bugsby. Can you think of a better place to hide an elephant than a private game preserve? But what will the owners say? Don't worry. Colonel Twaddle's off in Africa. Won't be back for months. Unload that beast and make it snappy. But on another part of the grounds, that doughty sportsman, Colonel Twaffle, returns unexpectedly with a very restless trophy. A prize fighting bull from Spain. Tell me who, Hawkins! I'm back! This is indeed a surprise, Colonel Twaddle. I was on my way to hunt, Hawkins, when I ran into this magnificent brute. Most dangerous fighting bull to ever enter the ring. Go on. But suddenly, Colonel Twaddle's old jungle fever known as Ungawani hits him. What is it, sire? and Van Hoeksbury. What a spot for vacation, boss. Be my guest, Bugsby. Live it up. She loves me. She loves me not. Quiet, Bugsby. Didn't that sound like thunder? Did you get the license number of that truck? Give me do about Colonel Twaddle. Humor him, that's all. Oh, men! Organize!
organize a hunt, boys. I keep hearing elephant trumpeting. Taking a bad turn, he has. Is Ungawada catching Hawkins? Why do you ask? Look! Miss Camille! <coughs> am I seeing things? I hope not, Hawkins, but so am I. Shut! Coming, Buana. Fighting bull sees a new target. Tarsus hit down, straight for poor, defenseless Daffy. Will she ever escape the mad bull? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Much Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Elephant Nappers. Last time, Clutch and company were hot on the trail of the criminals who stole Daphne the Elephant and hid her on Twaddle's ranch. A prize fighting bull broke loose and charged the helpless Daphne. Clutch's helicopter has arrived over Colonel Twaddle's ranch. My Daphne, there she is. And there she was. We're too late, Clutch. Poor Daphne doesn't know how to defend herself. Maybe we can give her a quick lesson. Take over the control spinner. Got him, Clutch. Clutch, what are you going to do? Don't worry, Rothbard. Lower, Spinner. you cool off, Mr. Bull? Clutch! Daphne's running away! Come down, little Daphne. It's only us! Colonel Twaddle, still delirious with Ungawadi fever, has organized an elephant charge. An elephant charge! Gun bearers, ho! Angawada hits him. Oh, sure. Colonel Twaddle's walk in Africa. Shut up and let's get out of here. Oh, mercy me, my poor Daphne. What can we do? I'm afraid that's an elephant gun. We'd better get her. Fast. Just in time, too. Sounds like war breaking up. Why, Daphne sure looks happy. So does the Rampoor. He'll never forget what you've done for him, Clutch. Rampoor! Twaddle. Forgive me, Rampoor. I never dreamed it was your Daphne. Clutch! There go the elephant nappers! Wait, Clutch. Daphne can help. Look at Clutch. He's on Daphne's back. After them, Daphne. They're headed for the lake, Clutch. Can elephants swim, boss? Shut up and keep rowing. <coughs> They're gaining on us, Bugsby. Faster, faster. Stop, or we'll sink you. Faster, Bugsby, faster. Okay, Daphne. Give them a broadside. Fire one. Bullseye, Daphne. Did you say something, boss? Good show. Daphne's bringing them back. Just keep marching, boys. Daphne's feet are getting cold. Thought I heard shooting here. Anything wrong, Colonel Twaddle? Arrest those two for elephant napping. You and your bright ideas. I'll be forever grateful, Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot. My kingdom is yours to command. Our reward is to see you and Daphne together again, Rampur. Paddlefoot and Daphne are friends, too. <laughs> And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Elephant Nappers. Be sure to tune in next time for another exciting adventure with...